The Poco F4 has a better 64 megapixel main camera this year with OIS, but can Gcam still improve photo quality? And is the F4's camera really much better than the X4 GT's? Let's find out in this Poco F4 camera test. Let's look at a bunch of test shots, including selfies, night shots, and video, then I'll show you which Gcam port was used, and the settings for both camera apps. This first building photo doesn't impress me from either camera app, but if you prefer brighter images, the stock camera can definitely provide that, which is a theme in these tests. I always think it's interesting to see how cameras handle orange colors and cones, and jackpot, orange cones. Even though the stock camera overexposes a bit, it does look closer to real life than Gcam, which makes the orange reflective tape look positive radioactive. The stock camera shows some grain in the shadows back here, but both apps handle the rainbow umbrella well. There's a little more detail in the fabric from the stock Poco camera though. Gcam wins the waxy poisonous bush shot. The stock cam is just too bright, and Gcam manages to look more natural with proper exposure. This door is a liar, clearly not blocked. Besides that, the cameras perform similarly, but Gcam's shot has more texture and saturation. First of all, I really need to dust, but Gcam wins. It delivers the brighter shot this time with a noticeable increase in detail. The Poco camera disappoints with these pink flowers. The pink's clipping so it looks almost neon. And another problem that wasn't as noticeable in the other shots is more evident here. Bat bokeh. I'm not sure if this is just an OIS issue, but the stock camera doesn't always provide creamy, smooth, out of focus portions of shots. Gcam does a better job correcting both of these issues. Gcam wins again for this white flower shot since the stock camera overly brightens the white petals. Plus again, the bokeh just feels more natural with Gcam. For the school bus, I would say Gcam wins, better contrast, and just closer to reality. Again, I prefer Gcam for the bow shot. The exposure's better, particularly the black and white bows, which don't look clipped like on the stock camera. Now this handsome devil looks a lot better with Gcam. This is from the main rear camera, and I look a bit too beautified with the stock Poco cam. Portrait mode from the rear camera, and I prefer Gcam again for the same reasons. Oddly enough, the stock camera wins when we switch to the selfie cam. Better background blur and exposure is pretty good. With portrait mode from the selfie camera, both apps do a fine job, but the stock cam does slightly better at separating me from the background. For night mode selfies, I'm actually impressed with the stock Poco camera. The color is pretty close to reality and it's not overly blurry or noisy. Obviously, Gcam just looks way too noisy, but Gcam wins with the selfie camera in night mode. I mean, it still looks pretty terrible, but this was an extremely dark room. Poco cam is just unusual usable this time. Lazy couch dog shot with night mode, and Gcam decides to retain detail but looks grainy. Poco cam looks mushy, but it's not grainy. The van image has the same trade-off, but I think I like the stock camera better this time. Both do a good job with this figure on a pizza box photo. The stock cam is much warmer than Gcam though. This fire hydrant at night looks terrible from a lot of different mid-range phones, but the F4 handles it well from both camera apps, with Gcam having slightly more accurate color. Before we get to the video test and the X4 GT comparison, if this video has been helpful so far, please give it a like, and thank you for that. Moving to video, and it's just okay on the F4. The main camera's new optical image stabilization looks smooth, but there's this bouncing from my footsteps that's annoyingly awful. Selfie video from the Poco F4, Poco F4, Gcam selfie video. For some reason, that's not an issue with the electronically stabilized selfie camera from the stock app. It makes me think Poco might have been better off at just turning off OIS for video recording and only using EIS. Other apps like Filmic Pro have similar issues with OIS. If you really want to push the F4 as hard as possible with video, you can. With motion cam, it can film raw video at higher resolutions than the stock app at up to 60 FPS. Same OIS issue though, so make sure you stabilize in some other way, like with a tripod. Does the F4 beat the cheaper Poco X4 GT? Yes, but not always by much. From left to right, we have the stock F4 cam, F4 G cam, X4 GT G cam, and lastly, the stock X4 GT cam. For the playground shot, G cam on the F4 is closest to reality. But the Gcam from the X4 GT performs somewhat well too, and it's a significant improvement over the stock cam, particularly in the shadows. Here's a great example of the differences between the phones. The F4 Gcam shot looks the best again, but this time the X4 GT just can't compete at all. Its Gcam image is way too saturated, and the stock shot is far too warm and dull. Back to the building photo, and I honestly prefer the X4 GT Gcam version this time. Its slightly cooler color temperature and increased saturation make it pop more than the F4 
four shots. From winner to loser, the X4 GT falls way behind, especially G-Cam with this park bench. Just look at that sky. The F4 stock camera wins again with the rainbow umbrella. The biggest difference is not in color, but detail from the fabric with the X4 GT falling behind. Pink flowers again, X4 GT G-Cam is too saturated, and the F4 G-Cam wins. But look at how the stock Poco cameras on each phone handle these flowers in the background. This bizarre outline just looks rough. I like both G-Cam shots of this wooden gate, but all the cameras produce a usable image this time. For selfies from the main rear camera, I prefer the X4 GT G-Cam version. The extra saturation makes me look a bit more alive, which is nice because I am alive. Same story with portrait mode. And again, same story with the actual selfie camera. G-Cam on the X4 GT just feels much more natural than the rest. And you can guess what looks best with the portrait mode from the selfie camera. Now, if conditions aren't great with lots of light, the F4 is a safer bet. The stock F4 cam can handle this dark rear camera selfie really well. With the selfie cameras, both phones look rough in low light. G-Cam sort of saves them, but still looks horrible. I added in this fan shot because I think the stock X4 GT cam does a surprisingly good job. It's at least the most crisp image this time around. The F4 definitely outperforms in this night van shot. I would say the F4 G cam and X4 GT stock cam tie for this tricky hydrant night shot. While the X4 GT can occasionally beat the F4 in photography, when it comes to video, the F4 is the better choice, and G-Cam doesn't help at all. It's even worse when you move to third-party video apps like Motion Cam, where the X4 GT can only film at around 17 frames per second, which is a look if stuttery is what you're going for. For this comparison, I use the same BSG G-Cam port for both phones, with HDR Plus Enhanced enabled, and increased the HDR frames to 30. I left the stock Poco cams at their defaults, which is HDR Auto. Overall, the F4's main selfie cameras shoot good photos and can be improved further with Gcam, especially if you install a Gcam port and XML file specifically for the F4, which I didn't do for these tests because I wanted to make the X4 GT comparison as fair as possible. Speaking of the X4 GT, yeah, the F4 is the better camera phone, but I still think the GT can take decent, usable photos much of the time. Just don't use it for any serious video shooting. If you think the F4 or the X4 GT is the right phone for you, you should check out Bekex Tech. They have both of these devices at competitive prices with fast shipping and a huge selection of other brands like OnePlus, Asus, Nothing, Samsung, and Xiaomi. Plus, they include a year-long warranty period, which I haven't seen anyone else do for import phones. And they even offer an extended warranty as well. Oh, and if you're looking for digital cameras, lenses, tablets, and other tech, they have that too. Please use my discount code phone compatibility dash BXT2 to save a little money and also support this channel. I'll leave my full F4 review right around here when it's done. And please leave a comment if you have any questions about the F4 and I will answer them perfectly 24-7, 70% of the time.